I'm Don Slack. You're listening to Swing Indoors here on KEXP, and I'm very happy to have in the studio with me today out of North Carolina, Sarah Shook and the Disarmers. Uh, really love their album and uh, real excited about hearing what they do live. Heard they put on a great live show, and we're going to find out today here in the KEXP studios. You guys ready to play a couple of songs? Yeah, we are. Shook and the Disarmers, uh, live here on KEXP and Swing Indoors, a song called Keep the Home Fires Burning, which you can also find on their great album Sidelong, which they um, put out themselves a couple years ago, and it's been reissued earlier this year by Bloodshot Records, so it mm-hmm. makes it a lot easier for you to find it out there and about. It's a really cool album. Definitely highly recommend it and, and definitely recommend seeing these guys live. Um, thank you guys for coming in today. That sounded great. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Oh, very happy to have you guys here. And we're about ready to get going here with another song in just a minute. And then we'll chat a little bit and see what you guys have been up to. I know you've been touring a lot around the country here recently. About ready to wrap up a big old tour and and, uh, maybe hopefully head back home. With any luck, right? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Drinking water. Cause I drank all the whiskey this morning Drank the whiskey this morning Cause my baby, she ain't going on Drinking water tonight Cause I drank all the whiskey this morning
I drank all the whiskey this morning She left me nothing but heartache and tears She took every last one of my good years Point three FM KEXP and Sarah Shook and Disarmers live here in the studio with a real great heartbreaker of a song called Dwight Yoakam. Love that song, by the way, and I'm really happy you guys did that one today. You can also find that on their album Sidelong, which is again highly recommended. Definitely should uh, check that one out. Um, as I mentioned, you guys put out the album yourselves a couple of years back, and then uh, it was picked up by Bloodshot and reissued earlier this year in the spring. Uh, how'd you guys hook up with Bloodshot Records? Um, they reached out to us, and um, it was sort of the usual flurry of exchanges of emails and whatnot. Um, and then last September, um, I actually met up with them, with a couple folks from the label at Americana Fest in Nashville. Um, and we basically, you know, had whiskeys and talked shop for a while. Um, and, you know, after all discussing as a group, uh, we decided that it was sort of the, the next step that made sense for us. That's great. Oh, I love those guys. Great people to hook up with. Absolutely. Yeah, hearts of gold. Um, so do they like uh, hear your album or, you know, they see you guys live or, or just heard about you, you think? Um, probably some combination of probably those some things, combination. actually. Yeah. Um, Oh, that's right. Yes. Um, yes, that's uh, John's right. They saw the uh, music video that we did for Heal Me. Oh, cool. Um, and that was sort of the, uh, the thing that sparked the So you interest. guys put out a, one music video on your own or a bunch of them? Or? Um, at the time, it was just the one. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it caused a little bit of sensation, I take it? I think so, yeah. There's yeah, a little stir. That's cool. How did you guys all get together anyway, the band? Um, well, there is a lot of musical history between uh, the five of us. Uh, Phil Sullivan, Eric Peterson, and myself were all um, in a band called Sarah Shook and the Devil long time ago, very uh, traditional country, no uh, drums. Um, Eric and Aaron Oliva and John all played music in a band. Was that the, ni the late 90s? Yeah, mid to late 90s. Mid to late 90s. Um, so, yeah, we've, we've all, you know, there are probably a few, maybe like a decade or so experience between the yeah, five of us. That wasn't $2 Pistols, was it? Um, no, that's John Howie Jr.'s band. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I know John was in that band. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, cool band. Um, anyway, some of your songs seem to be pretty dark. Not necessarily all of them, but a lot of them. Are they mostly drawn from your own experiences or? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not every every dark line, but... Yeah, there's some really great songwriting on the record and some uh, no-holds-barred attitude also, a lot of outlaw attitude. I take it you don't take a lot of crap from people, judging by uh, some of the songs. No, I, I sure don't, <laughs> I must say. And there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, you guys have been uh, out on uh, a long time now on tour. You've been on the road a lot before? 
Um, we started touring uh, on the regular back in March or April. Um, yeah, we did uh, South by Southwest, and we did uh, seven shows in four days there, a little, little bit of a marathon. Um, but this is our first West Coast tour, um, and it's been really, really great so far. We're looking forward to tonight at the Tractor Tavern. Yeah, and uh, I'm sure it's going to go great for you. By uh, the time this is aired, that'll be uh, way past history, but yeah. I'm sure it'll be legendary in people's minds are listening to this going, man, that was a great show. It was at the tractor the other night. <laughs> what a great time we all had. Um, also, I know you're involved in a, in a lot of a civil rights activism in North Carolina, which I think is really, really cool. Um, you've uh, involved in some uh, safe space initiatives and also uh, put together a music festival called Manifest. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Um, the Safe Space Initiative, uh, that was our tour manager, actually, Erica Libero. Um, she's here right now, obviously, because she's tour managing us. Um, but her and I started getting together and coming up with um, just sort of a punch list of ideas, just very simple things that we could do that we felt could make um, like a positive impact on the community and hopefully have some ripple effects. Um, and so we worked on the safe space thing. Um, we started a, a crowdfunding and we raised money to make stickers and basically just gave them out to free, for free to any of the businesses in town that, um, that wanted them. And um, started a Facebook page and then we started getting all these requests from uh, businesses that aren't even in, in North Carolina. So it, it did you know, have that kind of bigger effect that we hope for. And then Manifest is the music festival that uh, we put together um, in downtown Chapel Hill. And that's, that's you know, 98% Erica. Um, and I'm just kind of the little cheerleader on the sidelines, like, hey, you're doing a great job. That's how I like uh, operating music festivals, too. I like being the little cheerleader <laughs> off to the side and <laughs> going, yay, good job producing that event, yes, guys. Exactly. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, Erica, for doing that and putting on that festival. I heard it's a really cool thing. You have, um, uh, I guess you try to bring uh, a lot of different uh, voices to the festival. Is yeah. the whole idea behind it and yes. not just, you know, guys like me. <laughs> yeah, no offense. <laughs> no, um. <laughs> I know there's a lot of us out there where we have more than enough yeah. input on things as it is. It's, it's uh, <laughs> basically a, a festival that's aimed at um, giving more visibility and representation to women making music. Um, and last year was the first festival that we held and it, it went really, really well. Um, and when we actually get back from this tour, um, October 13th and 14th, like we're getting back and doing a couple of festivals and then it's time again. Oh, wow. Um, so, yeah. Cool. Yep. Well, good luck with it. Hope it goes well for you again this Thank year. Thank you. You guys ready for a couple more songs? I think so. Y'all ready?
That's Sarah Shook and the Disarmers live here in the KEXP studios. Song called Heal Me, another great song you can find on their album Sidelong, which has uh, been reissued by Bloodshot Records earlier this year. And again, highly recommended uh, not only get the record, but check them out live when they come to your area. All that are going to be uh, taking a little break here for a while, I, I do believe. Although you've got some uh, events going up around the, home ter- in the hometown territory, uh, festivals and whatnot planning. But otherwise, it'll probably be a while for you to see them on the road again. Uh, perhaps another, perhaps another a big long road trip when you get the new album out. Yeah, co- another one coming out in the spring, maybe. That's right. Uh, hopefully April of 2018. April of 2018, and that's on Bloodshot too. That's correct. Mm-hmm. You have a title for the album yet? It's called Years. Cool. Awesome. You guys ready for one more song? Yeah. Um, and if it's cool, we're actually going to do one of the songs off the upcoming album. That would be awesome. Cool.
90.3 FM KEXP, Sarah Shook and the Disarmers, live here in the KEXP studios. The Bottle Never Lets Me Down, the name of that song from the upcoming album Years, which will be coming out on Bloodshot Records next spring. Thank you guys so much for coming by the station today. Thank, thank you so you. much for having us. Thank I appreciate you. you. Well, that sounded awesome. So thank you guys very much. Thank you to our engineer, Kevin Suggs, for producing this session. Thanks to the KEXP hospitality folks and our awesome video and photography crew. You are listening to KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.